Thank you. So I'll show you some chart. And I was getting ready quickly and I made some mistakes in the chart, some the time frame. I'll show you. I I squeezed the time so you may not see clearly some uh, some bars, some candles, but I'll try to explain. So there are many ways to get ready uh, for the market. One way is to um, just see what's happening in the market uh, when the market open. And another way is also uh, prepare your list, watch list one day before based on your criteria and then uh, put them on the watch list uh, for uh, up and down. And then when the market opens, then you should have some criteria of identifying out of your list, the short list, like 50, 60 stocks, which one are the ones which are moving properly and fits your uh, criteria. The criteria is still valid. So there has to be some evidence. So some evidence criteria is there, which is convincing you that this uh, this is the one. So out of 50, you cannot trade 50. So the tighter is your evidence criteria, uh, the less the stock should show up, the, the qualities. It's on a one year time interval. So when, when you when you when you're doing analysis, you can do the analysis on a one year basis because you want to look back and see what happened previously, all the turning points support and but when you're trying to explain, maybe I should prepare, I prepare eight months, based on eight month to nine month chart. So the candles are spread out and I can show you what's going on. So AMD, here's the AMD chart. AMD got, but so uh, the stock gets clobbered and then it reaches a point where it becomes attractive for someone or a lot of people. So, so yesterday, AMD started to move up. I was watching it on an intraday uh, chart. So the, the things, uh, if when something is moving, it is start from a tick chart or, or a one minute chart, and then the three, five, 10, 15, then it comes daily, and then a weekly, monthly, and all kinds of moving averages, you know, or 52 week high, three month high, all that criteria. So what is your criteria for early detection? So you have to identify that. So I was looking at intraday, so I had all uh, different uh, criteria for uh, creating the watch list. So AMD was just on a watch list for setup. So I was stalking it to see when it will show the sign of uh, that it has stabilized. Because you can see it, it went on a ping pong fashion here at 55, uh, 58 level. So yesterday was uh, it started to show that there's something uh, uh, going on, and sometimes if you if the stock is on your watch list, then a certain rhythm it's like um, the the way the stock starts to move uh, like a horse, you know the, the the horse which I don't know the name word for that trot the horse trotting or something like that. So it starts to do that, but it can subside. So few uh, 10, 15 minutes move and then it dies. So I put it on uh, my watch list, AMD. I said, okay, I'll look into it tomorrow. So to today, this morning, early morning, right at the uh, open, it just starts to move up again. So that's where I said, okay, this is the one which is a good one to go along. So AMD, AMD is the one. And then there was an Intel. So so what happened when AMD is showing up, then you also look at other uh, other chip stocks. So you have to see what else is going on. Maybe AMD is moving not because of itself, uh, but uh, you know, in uh, sympathy with other uh, categories. So look at Intel, look at Nvidia. So, so I'll show you Intel. So I think there was a news in Intel and Intel started to move. So I'll show you the chart. These are not in alphabetical order. Again, I prepared quickly. So AMD and then shop. So Intel is coming. So same way, shop came on radar. And again, the chart is a squeeze. You can see it's one year based on one year, between November and October, so it's one year time frame. So shop was on radar. It started to move yesterday a little bit. So I said, okay, I need to put it on the watch list uh, shop also this morning. So early morning it started to move. And you can see this candle is a is a is a white candle. And 
No, it's not that visible. Let me see if I can. Uh, no. So you can put uh, the symbol. Just a second. You can put the symbol on your chart. What I'm showing, just put the symbol shop today's daily time frame, and you can um, tag along. So shop has started to move. It's a it, this is a bullish candle out of the base. So this is another candidate uh, which I'm pointing out to you for uh, watching to go long or go long. This is the third one, Intel. So Intel, you see the Intel. So when the stock pulls back, so Intel has pulled back. There are two candles here and Intel pulled back. So yesterday I put the Intel on uh, my radar. There's a tiny white candle. So I said, okay, after two, three day pullback, um, this, this is showing up uh, upward move. Let's see what happens tomorrow. So this morning, early morning, uh, it just gapped up. And so it, it gave the confirmation what I was looking for. So I said, okay, I'm, I need to go along on Intel. So this is another, uh, uh, a stock to watch or to go long. So Intel, look at the Intel, it dropped, it made a high here at 55, from 55 to 25. So it's a 50% uh, haircut. So whenever the stocks uh, get a 50% haircut um, or uh, it will take 100% gain to go up. So from 50, 55 to 23, 24 is exactly 50%. So when a stock which is owned by institutions, et cetera, and they see their, you know, 50%. So it's magic. 50% reduction in price is a magical uh, buy price. So you can um, say like that. So 50% and then you start watching it for its time to move up. So here it is, it's gapped up. I'm not uh, going to hold all the way short term. So short term where could be the exit, could be the exit at 30, 50 day moving average just from below. So when the stock is hitting the 50 day moving average from below the, or 200 day, that act as a resistance. So the, the trend is, so if you look at the Trend, trend is to the downside, but being a short term trader, you need to look at the short term trend. So the short term trend is to the upside, especially the gap up. So gap up where it can go towards 30. This is where um, it pulled back. You see, it tried to bounce at 30, hit the, it created a resistance. So there was no resistance, it created it. So it created it. It may go 30, 31. Here's another resistance at 31, you see here. And here's another resistance at 32. So 31, 32 resistance, and another one at 30. So if you go along around 26 something, uh, 30, 31 will give you some gains. And here's your exit below. Shouldn't, shouldn't not violate the low. So Intel, AMD, so when you're looking at Intel AMD, then you also say, okay, let me see AMAC, let me see NVIDIA. So what else is going on? Maybe you know, the time Intel is hitting the exit, your exit criteria, whether it's a profit objective or technically, maybe something else is uh, setting up in the same space, uh, same industry group. So uh, keep an eye on another stock in the same. Maybe that one was not moving. Now it started to move. So one you are exiting, and another one you're getting in, in the same industry, because that industry uh, is where the buying is going on. Mara, I watched Mara all the time. So Mara started to move yesterday around 10. Uh, and so I kept it on the radar. So early morning is started to move up. It, so one thing you can do is uh, use the opening range breakout. So you can start watching uh, opening range breakout means there is a, a opening range. Um, you define what is that opening range. So it could be 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and then you start noticing the low and the high for that opening range. And then when it breaks, uh, so it depends which direction. So if you're looking for the long direction, so if it breaks that range, that high made convincingly, and then there is a, a new high being made every minute. 
then you know, okay, this is the one I can go long. So let's say opening range, you define uh, uh, it made a low of 1050 and a high of 1080. So it's a 30 minute opening range for 15 minutes. So then you set the new high. So that when, when the new high is triggered in uh, up the, above the 15 minute high, then I will take a look. And maybe you can set that for 30 minute time interval. So on one side, the 30 minute time interval is setting up a new high if it comes. Uh, then you will, on a 30 minute time interval, that little space, uh, you will look. Uh, or uh, you're watching it every five minutes, it's, it's making a new high. So Mara was doing it this morning. I don't know right now, but Mara was doing it. So this is another one um, which can give you gains. So you can buy shares. It's, it's a small price stock, 10, 10, 70, 11 dollars. So shares also, and options also. So options are very uh, tight spread in uh, in a good volume because of the price. I usually don't trade the small price stocks, but Mara is the one I trade. Uh, AGQ. So AGQ, ProShare, Ultra Silver. So I trade these in a ETF option, up and down. I was short on AGQ over here. So it gapped up and then gapped down and then short higher puts and closed it. So when you close it, uh, uh, when you're closing a trade, there must be some exit criteria triggering, whether it's profit objective, whether it's some support or if you're buying some puts, so if you're buying put, you're exiting based on some support level. So then you say, okay, I exit it uh, for my shot based on the support hitting and I have profit, I get out. Then you put that on a watch list. Then you say, okay, now what? Maybe it reverses to the upside and then I will go long. So the same star which you exited based on the technical reason, uh, you put it on the, on the other side. You can also, so how, how you can watch, you can um, put it in your simulation. You can, uh, you can um, one way is doing the opposite of your intention. So if you want to go long, you short it in your simulation and it's making money. So when it's making money, then you know that it's not yet the right criteria to go long because the short is making money. When the short is start losing money and uh, turn into Green, uh, red, then that's the time you flip and say, okay, I need to look at it. So AGQ exited from the ports, support here, and then watch for it to go long. So so AGQ looks like you know, set, set up for long. You see this white candle or black candle after uh, the tiny red. So AGQ looks like is long so today, 20th of October. Here is trade desk. So trade desk, we traded a put somewhere here. We bought and sold. So now the trade desk. So if if so, these candidates you just if you are a swing trader, you're just flipping your trades. Sometimes you're long, sometimes you're short. Sometimes you buy calls, sometimes you buy puts. So exit it from the puts. Now put it on the watch list and start watching it. What is doing? So today it should look like it's going up. So you see it's a white candle. I don't know what indicator you need. Maybe some, some indicators you need uh, to further give you some confirmation. So good for you. You can put some indicators. It looks like right now it's going up. So TTD looks like setting up for long. Set up for long, not setting up, set up for long. Here is MCD. So MCD is, uh, uh, so there are some stocks which uh, keep going. Um, so MCD, um, I'm not saying, uh, we traded somewhere here long. Uh, I don't know the exact date. We traded long. So now uh, this uh, big bar, and uh, so, so when, when you have a big bar like this, um, you don't know where the stock will go. So it's, it's overbought. So look for another entry, look for some kind of a clue. And the clue could be that the stock is trading near the high of the previous big bar, so near the high range, so some range. So look at this one, 
candles, straight white candles, and then it gapped up, um, pulled back up. So another indication it doesn't want to go down. And then again, um, gapped up. So this candle is a bearish candle. This is uh, where the arrow is. This, uh, bull it looks like bullish pin bar, but it's uh, showing, it was showing uh, that it may be topping out. So put it on the stock, on your watch list, which shows that it may be topping out. So if it's top down, you have another criteria to look at it to go short. But if it's not, if it negates, that what you were thinking is stopping out, it negates that uh, reasoning that is not. It's, so some criteria you need to have to show that, no, this was not a topping out. This is just a pullback and I need to go long. So 250 is also considered as a support, 250, 300, et cetera. So it looks like MCD has a strong support at 250 and it's going to move up. So this is another one setting up MCD. Another one, uh, the the cruise stocks, NCLH, RCL, and CCL. So we trade these three calls and short. So we bought puts on CCL, made good money. We bought calls on RCL and uh, not that much. It took time for RCL to go back up. Now, if you look at NCLH, it looks like it's uh, going up, but then uh, I'm not long into it. But uh, we already moved from 11 to 14, but looks like it has a room to go at least 16. So if you draw the line here, you see on the 16 level, it has a, some resistance. So 16 is a is a tremendous resistance level at 16. So something in future you want to watch, maybe you don't buy now at $14. If you buy at 14, you sell at 16, and then you see it conquered 16 uh, clearly. See here resistance, here resistance, here so 16, 17 is a big resistance. And if it's clear, who knows what news comes, then the, if the next resistance I see, some resistance here at 20, but this is the one, 22, 23. So, so from 16 to 22, 23, it's like 50% gain in the stock. So it could be a long term. So NCLS looks like going up. HES. We went long on HES yesterday on earning trades. So sometimes uh, the stock moves. I mean, there are many reasons for stocks to move. So HES is oil stocks. So I watch oil stocks. So HES and COP, COP, they were moving up. So I had to decide which one to take. And I, I, I see also the earning. I said, okay, the earning is coming up. So I have a pretty good chance to go long in HES. Earnings are up. Oil stocks are moving. So I went long on HES yesterday. And today it's still moving. I don't know right now what's the price, but it was moving early morning at 131 or 133. So entered at, I think, 120, 128, 129, and today it's 133. Just because of this white candle and earnings coming up. And other oil stocks were moving. So, so what HES did now? See, it created, looks like it created a new 52 week high today. So the stock which are making new 52 week high, they can keep going and making new 50, uh, new high. It, it doesn't, you know, um, it's not like, okay, it made a new high, I uh, get out. So that is your belief, the wrong belief that 52 week high, I need to get out because it will tank. Or if, in, if the stock makes a 52 week low, I cannot go short. No, it cannot. It can keep making new 52 week low. And the stock can keep making new 52 week high as long as it wants. So you have to decide how to get out. So it made a new 52 week high and made with a bang. So it just uh, did not, it, it was trying. You see, it was trying. Here is the here is the resistance of 130. Here's the resistance 130 made in mid June. And it tried here in uh, late August. Then it tried mid September. Then it tried late September and many times. But yesterday's move was so good and earnings coming up that it broke all the resistance. So 
Now the support is right here, 118, 119. It should not go below 118, 119. So ATS yesterday came and today it's still moving. Lulu, Lulu right now is down before I got it. So Lulu was showing sign yesterday that it I want to go up. And so I went wrong on Lulu. And today was moving up. Right now it's it's moving down, so I don't know what uh, what Lulu is doing, but it was down just before I started this session. So Lulu is another one. If you're not long, Lulu is also attempting to go long. Another one, uh, Vegas, Las Vegas. So we trade LVS puts and short um, puts for short and um, calls for long. So and we were long on LVS. And I don't remember if we were short on NBA. We were long. Maybe, yeah, we were short on the, We were long on LBS, so we, we lost gains. And then um, when uh, Casino Struggle started moving, then we bought puts on win. So win, uh, I showed you the chart last time. So win, after going down for three, four days, we lost the game. And then I started watching LBS to see if uh, LVS or WIN uh, give the entry towards the long. So one day, stock is moving up, next day, it's moving down. So yesterday, it start, LVS started to show intraday chart, maybe to go up. So I, I, I looked at it and I said, okay, so what's the odd that LVS is moving up that it will go down tomorrow or go up? So you see here, 33 support, and exactly, in, uh, tried many times, support. So yesterday, it was trying also to move up. So went long on LBS and today just kept up. I sent the charts and the analysis to the other members. So here is LBS. Today made a high of 38 and it gave entry here based on the support here at 34, 38. So where is the exit? Probably at 40, 41 is the exit. So exit here. So LBS is the one which came yesterday, not today. Disney. Disney also came yesterday. So Disney is moving up. So simple criteria. You look on the intraday chart. So there's no intraday chart here. And the candles are squeezed. So I'm sorry, it's a one year chart. But Disney is showing 98, 99, 100 as a strong support. It doesn't want to go down below 98. So keep Disney on the radar. So your, your resistance is around 101. So Disney is on the radar for long. So these are the few charts I showed you. Um, the way I do uh, the trading, I explain everything in how the system works in another webinar. So we provide you the exact buy price and the targets. And when the targets are hitting, we send you the alert and watching if the targets need to be revised or we need to exit. So there are many kinds of sell target. So we need to provide you the targets for and exits sell uh, top, sell one third, sell majority, sell all, etc. depending on what's doing. So we provide three targets and the buy price. So that's it for today. Uh, these charts I showed you were from swing, swing line. Uh, one chart I showed you from earning plate, HES, and one chart I showed you for ETF option, AGQ. So we have ETF option, 487, Earning is 87 per month. Swing is 197 and swing light is 147 per month. All right, so I am preparing another topic for Sunday evening. Uh, so please uh, keep an eye on the email for Sunday evening by five o'clock. All right, so I'll see you uh, on Sunday. So thank you. Uh, I will check EOG uh, and, do, and let you know.